On the evening of the 23rd of August in Milwaukee, the first debate of the eight U.S. presidential candidates from the Republican Party took place. According to a CBS News poll, 16% of voters sympathize with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, 7% with businessman Ron Ramaswamy, and 5% with former Vice President Mike Pence. The leader of the list was former U.S. President Donald Trump. 62% of Americans are ready to give their votes for him. However, he refused to participate in the debate, citing a significant gap from the other candidates and sufficient popularity of his political position. Instead of verbal battles, Trump preferred to take part in the program of the famous American journalist Tucker Carlson. At the same time, the time of the broadcast of this meeting in the former Twitter, and now in the social network X, coincided with the debates of the Republicans. Despite Trump's lead, some debaters went through him with a steamroller. Former Arkansas Governor Arthur Hutchinson refused to endorse him, while former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley said the businessman had no place among Republicans. The CBS website reported, according to Haley, Trump's court cases interfere with his election campaign and take up too much time. This will not allow the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, to win, and letting him go for a second term is unthinkable. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie also did not miss the chance to kick the businessman. He said that regardless of the fairness of the criminal charges, Trump's behavior is not in line with the office of the U.S. president. At the same time, none of the critics collected more than 3% of the popular vote. One of the most striking episodes of the Republican debate was the Ukrainian issue. Businessman Vivek Ramaswamy openly stated that he is not only against increasing military and other support for Ukraine, but also considers such an approach disastrous. Ramaswamy stressed that the US authorities should use resources to solve the country's internal issues and protect against invasions on the southern border. It is time to limit the inflow of illegal migrants from Mexico. Ukraine, on the other hand, is not a priority for the Americans. The same Haley, opposing Ramaswamy, immediately rebuked him for his complete lack of foreign policy experience, as well as for his lack of understanding of the global role of the United States. In the modern world, Fox TV channel reported, we should know that Ukraine is our front line of defense. He wants to give Ukraine to Russia. He wants to allow China into Taiwan. He wants to end support for Israel. Haley accused her fellow party member. The rest of the politicians agreed on the need to help Ukraine. The only one who left himself room for maneuver was Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He simply walked away from the issue, saying that European countries need to increase donations. By the way, Despite the fact that Ramaswamy was stomped on by almost all seven candidates they remembered, their youth and lack of experience his rating increased significantly, and it was the young politician who became the star of the debate. The New York Times said, Dmitry Drobnitsky, a political scientist and Americanist, explained to 360 that it will not be possible to legally remove Trump from the election race. The fact that the businessman is under investigation does not prevent him from legally declaring his candidacy for the first office in the United States. The other Republican candidates, according to the Americanist, pale in comparison, with the exception of Ramaswamy, but even he's far from Trump. To reject the former U.S. president's candidature would mean for the Republican Party to lose the 2024 elections. The fact that Trump is being prosecuted on criminal charges primarily related to the events of the 6th of January 2021 only adds to his ratings. So Milwaukee just sat seven boys and one girl at the kids' table. Well, no big deal. The adults had lunch elsewhere. The expert political scientist noted that many Republicans are in favor of reducing support for Ukraine. However, they are not the only ones the second after Biden. Democratic candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. 
holds exactly the same point of view, who in the establishment supports the course of escalating the conflict with Russia and helping Ukraine. Trump, Kennedy Jr., Ramaswamy, DeSantis are all against it. That is, the main Ukrainian corrupter Biden himself and candidates with a 2 to 3% rating are in favor of supporting Ukraine. This is the political layout, the expert said. He added that the opinion of the same Ramaswamy, who speaks on behalf of young conservative entrepreneurs in the United States, now fully coincides with the point of view of the party activists of the Republican Party.